It's a really amazing the amount of pain these guys can go through. Your mind's saying, let's stop, let's stop, let's stop. You've got to train yourself to always break through that. Success in rowing is based on the amount of work you put in. The more time you spend training, the more hours you spend in a boat, on an erg, with your heart rate accelerated, the more successful you're gonna be. In the ergometer, what we are able to do is create an environment where the guys can sit on the machines and produce power. Only toys the shoes. When you're on the water, there's a lot of other factors. The boat can be unbalanced, it could be a little bit of a side wind, but when you're on a rowing machine, there's nothing to prevent you. The thing is stable, you've got the monitor in front of you, so you're just driving that thing as hard as you can. There's the screen there that tells you exactly how hard you're pulling, and you can't hide. You can't pretend to pull hard, it doesn't matter what face you make, the screen doesn't lie. Rowing is not a serene sport, it's not a sport of gentlemen, period. Rowing is a pain contest, and there are very few gentlemen that are willing to endure it. And I'm looking into their eyes, and I see their eyes roll back into their head. And I have to call that guy's name to bring him back, and he focuses back in on me. It's pretty unbelievable that you look at their oar, and they still got full power. When you go through like you know a really grueling hard workout, you feel you know you're tired, but you're like, man, I, I really just made myself better. I went out there, I'm a little faster now, you know, I'm a little stronger now. But at the end of the day, the amount of pain they go through is excruciating, and until you've done it, you ha you can't even conceptualize. I've seen it, I've seen it in front of my face. I still don't understand it. I still don't understand how they're able to do it and still be focused so technically on their rowing. You don't have a choice, and every practice you don't have a choice, really. If you want to win, and we all want to win. When it's an Olympic final, people will do things and will sum up an awful amount of courage and strength that you may previously have underestimated them on. It's a head game at this level. It's a measure of who can sit in the pain the longest and push in it the longest. It's going to take a lot of suffering. I think it's probably going to take about eight stretchers and they're going to all have to be at the finish line because these guys are, are willing to go that far.